Hi everyone, and we've got another Wi-Fi battle for you here, this time against this guy Anthony. I am using a variation of my usual lineup, and he's running two evolutions, Gengar and Greninja, Blaziken and Hydreigon, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, looking kind of casual there, Anthony, but that's okay, because so am I. And he sent out the Hydreigon, so I have led with Crobat. I'm going to go with the U-turn, because the U-turn is super effective against the Hydreigon, and it doesn't even do half of Hydreigon's health. Oh well. So we switch to Sylveon, because 1 resists Dark, 2 immune to Fair uh, Dragon. And I'm just realizing now that this is actually the promotional image they released when they revealed that Fairy was going to be a type, with Sylveon taking down a Hydreigon. So that's pretty cool. And he's withdrawn the Hydreigon, and sending out the Gengar, which is giving me a free Calm Mind turn. And we'll see how this goes. So I'm at two Calm Minds now, and then Leftovers is putting my health back. And he's going for the Mega Gengar. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it looks... It's one of the more cool Mega Evolutions, but at the same time it still looks kind of doofy. Although, I am kind of digging the glowy underside. I shouldn't have Calm Minded here. I forgot that Gengar can run Poison, so Sylveon is going to end up dying and not doing very much else. But yeah, I really like the glowing effect on the underside of Mega Gengar even though it does take out Sylveon right away. So I've gone for my Jollipede, my um, my Scolipede. Now I was meant to be using Dr. Deadly in this one. It's kind of difficult to tell from the PC box because they both look the same. I'm a bit racist, but yeah, they, that happens. And I go for the um, Protect Speed up. And then I use the Baton Pass. So that'll switch to my Greninja, of course. Who is still one of my favorite Pokemon. And Greninja uses Surf, because hey, it's a Blaziken and why wouldn't you? And there goes the Blaziken, which didn't actually get a speed boost at the end of last turn, which I'm sort of surprised about. And um, Gengar comes back in. Uh, so I've gone for the Dark Pulse. What's, what amuses me about this situation is right before we had the battle, someone a few tables across from us, like we actually about did this battle in person, someone a few tables across from us was talking about how good Mega Gengar is, how it doesn't matter that it can't take a hit because it will never get hit because of its speed. I said, no, it can get hit. And I proved myself right. So I was happy with that. Uh... The Greninja vs Greninja happened, and I grass nodded that. Protean is the best ability in the game. Honestly, it's just so amazing how things could change. And I've gone with grass nod here because I was running through um, Victory Road and I needed a Rock Smasher. And I thought, yeah, okay, I'll just put Rock Smash on this and switch it back for Ice Beam later. And I forgot to do that, so we're we don't have any anti-dragon measures, unfortunately. Not that it matters, because it puts me up against his Hydreigon with another U-turn. And then we get into a situation where I need to send something new in, and he needs to send something new in. So we can't really predict each other. I go for Jolly Pete, because... Jolly Pit's pretty cool, and he's going with Espeon, because Espeon's also pretty cool. But I'm going to boost my speed, because speed boost is awesome. And yeah, Psychic would be a good choice against um, Scolipede, being that it's part poison. But Megahorn is a good choice against Espeon, being that Espeon is all Psychic and weak to bug. So that goes down, and my speed goes up again. And I'm just thinking, it'd be really nice if you could actually change the um, background of the battle, 
this Colosseum is kind of boring after you've seen it a few times. Oh well. So I've gone for the Protect again, Speed Boost, and I've gone for a Baton Pass. Get all that speed onto something else that can use it. Or in this case, doesn't need it, because it's Crobat. But, you know, Crobat has the poison attacks, and the poison attacks are the killer of the Sylveons. So he's calm-minded, and I go for the Cross Poison. Which doesn't OHK it, like I thought it would. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. But it's not that worrying, because I can just do it again next turn. And since it was the end of the battle, I thought I would use something different. But he's gone with Protect, so that's a bit annoying. And them leftovers have been recovering its health slowly. But for the end of the battle, his Protect went off, didn't go off twice. I decided to use Brave Bird because, goddamn, that is just amazing. It's so much fun to watch. I love watching Brave Bird. And that was the end of my battle with Anthony. So X-Wing took some damage and then healed it back with the Shell Bell. I really like Shell Bell on it, by the way. Um, yeah, so thanks for the battle, Anthony, and I hope to battle you again. Make sure people like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!